Hey everyone and welcome to this video about understanding Panda and how it affects your site. First and foremost, Panda stems from on-site optimization and performance related issues. More so than ever, on-site optimization and site performance are crucial elements in achieving rankings. Gone are those days of getting away with lazy on-site work. You know the ones that I'm talking about. Uh, we used to be able to take our targeted key phrase and enter it in the URL of the page, the meta title, and then sprinkle it throughout the content, and we would call it a day as far as our on-site optimization was concerned. Well, those days are long gone, unfortunately, and we can thank Panda for that. If your site doesn't fit the new criteria, you will be penalized, and it can be quite severe. In fact, we've seen some sites remove their penalty and gain 20 to 200 percent or more in unique traffic back to their site. So that just shows you how much there is to lose here. This is a very serious penalty. Some people don't give it the the credit that it actually deserves, right? This is not to be ignored. The good news is that we're going to show you exactly how to identify and fix each of the technical components related to Panda. So here's how this thing affects you and your site. If you want to increase the effectiveness of your link building efforts, improve your rankings, and ramp up your return on investment, you're going to need to overcome Google's Panda penalty. It's just as simple as that. It has to be addressed. What's more is that many of your competitors literally have no idea of what they need to be fixing to avoid Panda. And in some cases, they have no idea that Panda even exists. <laughs> Right? Many assume that because they're getting traffic, or they may even have some rankings, that they can't be under a penalty. Right? How many times have you heard people, oh, well, I still have traffic, or, you know, the only time you get a penalty is when you see your traffic nosedive to nothing. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. This is absolutely false. Right? You can still be getting traffic and still be under this penalty. All of this adds up to massive competitive advantages when you learn how to deal with Panda the right way. Rarely do we see sites that are clean and properly optimized. Let me give you a quick little story to really drive this point home. Alex Miller, the co-founder of PosiRank, has done hundreds of consult calls with SEO agencies. And on these calls, they give him a URL to examine live on the call and in every single case he's found panda related issues you know so many issues that these sites are most likely downgraded in the eyes of google and they're not getting as much traffic as, as they should be getting right? so some of the smaller sites he's seen upwards of two hundred pages or more that could be construed as as low quality this is absolutely going to get you downgraded in the larger sites you know he's seen five hundred pages or or even you know double that and in the eyes of Google you have that many pages on your site that are considered low quality you're gonna be hit by this thing here's a little bit of good news about Panda alright this thing silently rolls out about once or twice per month this means that your recovery times dramatically reduced as opposed to the penguin penalty right? you can absolutely recover from this thing if you follow our guidelines to the letter, you're going to recover in as quickly as three to six weeks. Here's a really important point about all this. Clean, optimized sites that avoid Panda reduce link building costs. Every link you build becomes more effective when your site is optimized and you've reduced Panda related issues as much as humanly possible. When you do that, your site becomes a well-oiled machine. Right? Everything else you do to promote your site makes it that much more effective because you don't have all the gunk, all the low-quality pages holding you back. Right? You're not downgraded by Google at that point. And this is where we want to get you and your client's sites. We want to get you on the track to uh, more effective link building and promotion. So here's how Panda works. It only applies to pages within the index. Makes sense, right? Google, why would Google care about any pages that aren't in the index? So what this means for you is that if you 
want to have some duplicate content on your site that is possible say for example uh, there's this really great press release or article that you want your visitors to see you can have that on your site you just need to make sure that it's no index followed right and you do that through the use of plugins something like Yoast SEO can help you do that on a page by page basis you just need to make sure that that page is not seen by the search engines and not put in the index therefore it can't hurt you Google is essentially trying to rid the search engine result pages of low quality pages that's what this thing is all about this algorithm attempts to do that by spotting thin content you know pages with very little words on the page duplicate content like we just talked about and other types of pages that they deem unworthy it's a site-wide penalty okay. so if you're under the panda penalty it affects your whole site your whole site essentially becomes downgraded in the eyes of Google if X percentage of your pages are considered to be bad your entire site's going to be downgraded and this can still be true even if your site is ranking well or seemingly in good search engine health All right, this is really important to understand you don't have to have a site who's had a nosedive in traffic All right? that yes that obviously signifies something bad is going on but even if you haven't seen that happen to your site you could be hurt by this panda penalty at this very moment a lot of people don't understand that about this thing it's sort of a silent killer the algorithm uh, excuse me the algorithm looks at your site on a page by page basis and puts each page into either an acceptable pile or a bad pile here's a great analogy that my friend Jason taught me I think of a teeter-totter you know that that thing that kids sit on at the at the playgrounds right you got one kid on one side one kid on the other one side goes up while the other side goes down right? as the number of bad pages begin to pile up on one side of the teeter-totter it'll begin to tilt in that direction right so this is how Google's looking at your site they're applying Panda to every page on your site and as these bad pages begin to mount not in your favor Google's gonna say okay 25 30 50 percent of your site is low quality so we're gonna downgrade your site and say that this site as a whole is not a very good quality site so you're just not going to get the search engine traffic that you could get if they didn't see your site that way if Google considers enough of your pages offenders, your entire site will be downgraded, as I just mentioned. You'll practically lose search engine share instantly when this happens. If you build links to a site under this penalty, it will undoubtedly rank lower than it would have otherwise. Panda is basically active on all sites all of the time. It's your job to reduce its impact as much as possible and improve your ability to rank that's what this thing is all about okay so let's do a, a quick recap here what did we learn well on-site optimization is crucial to your site's success uh, in the in the modern landscape of search engine optimization promoting a site under the panda penalty will diminish your results without a doubt it's sort of like trying to box an opponent while being handcuffed you can do it you're just not gonna be very good Conversely, promoting a properly optimized site will improve your site's rankings, your return on investment, and the power of the links built to your site. Who doesn't like that, right? Uh, the links, the money that you spend building links, are actually more effective. This is essentially your unfair advantage, as your competitors are mostly clueless. Okay? Like I said, a lot of these competitors don't even realize they have a panda penalty because they're still getting traffic so this is this is a, a wake-up call to you right this is your unfair advantage and lastly but not least this stuff is incredibly cheap to implement right it's basically just staff time once you know what you need to change it's very simple to implement so that's it for this video folks 
in the following videos we're going to begin to identify and show you how to fix the key components to the Panda penalty. Alright, I'll see you on the next video.